What's up, Chad? How you doing, dude? Good. How about you? Doing great. Uh, for okay. everyone out there, we got a super special guest today. We're, we're totally honored to have him. World famous Chad Eaton. <laughs> you might know from your Yeti coolers. <laughs> Or your Great Notion beer can labels. Um, Chad's here doing a mural for us at our new Northwest 28th location. Yeah. Uh, so we're psyched to have him in town. Figured why not join for catch a flight with Paulie. Yeah. Yeah. So for uh, for beers today, we let Chad pick his favorite labels, and that's the beers we're drinking. So um, do you, we just ran through them. Uh, do you remember? You good at memory? Blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin. Oh man. <laughs> Eyeball Illuminati. Uh, yeah. And then Luminous. <laughs> one of these is a mochi. No. No? You're messing up on purpose. Oh, man. <laughs> no, it's early for me. We got virtual reality. Virtual reality. Super ripe. Super ripe. Sticky bun. So these okay. are your favorites, right? Yeah, my labels. Your favorite labels. Yeah, but yeah. I forgot. Have you tried all these beers yet or no? I think so. But okay. You told me earlier what your favorite one is. Do that's yeah, blueberry. Blueberry moment. moment. You wanna you wanna take a sip? It's a breakfast beer, so you're allowed. Okay. Cause I no shit. I actually fucking had a blueberry muffin for breakfast, dude. No joke. Oh, that's great. Wow. Cool. It's great, man. So we just drink it all. No, 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 dude. You do whatever you want, man. You gotta paint later, but you're not driving, so maybe. So this is uh, you already had a bear character, right? But well, I draw bears. Yeah. Did did you ever have a bear juggling before before us? <laughs> no, I never did. What uh, what have your bears done before, dude? Almost everything. <laughs> I I think bears are the most common requested thing. I think they do. Yeah. Cool. So have you? What's if you don't mind, maybe little background story, right? We don't have to go. Yeah. Too long in your childhood or anything, but when when did you start doing some badass sketches, man? Three, ten, twenty. Oh, not even. Uh, I think I just doodled when I was a kid, and then, I mean, I grew up skating, so when I started skating when I was like 11 or 12. He's always pretty much a bit louder too, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, pretty much stopped doing any art at all okay. until about 26, I think. And then I just so you weren't trying to do it professionally, like, not right when you're 18, all. graduating high school, you're not, not like, I'm going to be a badass designer. I, actually, I thought I'd be like working at McDonald's or something. <laughs> I don't know what, I, this any shit job that... So no parent was like, you gotta be a doctor or lawyer? Thing. I don't know. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you definitely cursed. No, yeah. my parents didn't care about nothing. Okay. Um, I just thought I was gonna be a piece of crap skateboarder and not have a, any career. Right. I don't know. Just no ambition at all to do anything. So how'd you get back into it then? Ooh, so... Um... A couple things, I guess. I think I started slowing down a little bit on the skating because I was getting older and whatever girls came into my life. Before. And then um, also, randomly, it's like I, a friend of mine that was a skateboarder as well, he was running this new skate shop in the town where I was living. And then. Um, Is that in LA? No, this is actually south of LA at the time, like in a city called like, uh, San Clemente. Okay. And then, um, so, he asked me to like help him design the shop, even though I know I didn't have like, really any background, it just made yeah. it was a little bit creative. So I ended up helping with that, and then the owner of this place was like, hey, you want to make some t-shirt designs for this place? I was like, okay, Have I've you never seen your art before. Yeah. No, oh, no, no art. No, I was like, I can just do it. I'll just fake it till I make it, kind of yeah. thing. But I said, sure, I'll try to do a t-shirt design or two. And then I did like four of them. And then this guy like pulled out and didn't want to pay me for them. So I was yeah. like, kind of out of spite, I was like, okay, fuck off. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Do it on my own. I'll just print these shirts, and I did. I just changed the title to actually Timber. Cool. And then after that, it grew into so, this whole story. So why story. timber? What's your look? Chop wood, dude. What's the whole well? It's just infatuation with wood and timber. It's and just uh, my timber stuff has this like backdrop of kind of the forest and everything. I think of it as like it's like a big story based art project kind of. I used to call it like a clothing company when I did yeah. a lot more t-shirts, but now I'm more focused on like I have a full like story there and I'm working on a book and. Um, so like cool. the backdrop just happens. In our to book be, or your writing? Eh, both. Both. Oh, cool. It's like maybe 
loosely a graphic novel, probably. Okay. That's I right. mean, I'm mostly telling it to the Are like, we going to see a Sasquatch and a bear? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. this is my the Sasquatch. And the bear's not really a main character. He's like a sidekick to another guy. Um, anyway, I don't want to get too deep yeah, into yeah. that, but... Nah, I mean, the people I'm might want to hear Yeah, I'm trying to get that out for a long time, but I'm, I'm slow. I don't try to do anything fast, so... Yeah. Um, but but how did you get so deep and entrenched into well, the Well, once woods I just theme? started... Did you used to hike a lot or something? No, not at all. I just, I mean, I'm from kind of the suburbs and city around L.A. Yeah. And I just, I don't know, I just think I, in my head it was kind of romantic. Or not cool. romantic, uh, fun. No, no, dude, the woods are a fun like, space. You it's know? one of the major draws of people yeah. who move to Portland, dude. Is yeah, the it's funny. Forest, I think dude. people always think I'm from here. Like, oh, I get yeah. that question all the time. Oh, yeah. I thought you were from, like, Portland or Oregon. Or yeah. Like, no, yeah, a lot of our. Not, not at all. Well. Like, mm -hmm. But I don't know. I always just think, like, if I drew, like, stuff that was. If I drew, like, Star Wars stuff, people wouldn't right. think I'm from space. It's just, like, right, a, right, right, a fun right. backdrop. And, uh,. I mean, I mean, I have spent a lot of time in forests and things, yeah. and, you know, I'm into it, but I'm not, like, living in it, right. in a cabin, you know, doing I'm, all that. If you're going to stay a couple more days here, um, our new brewery where you're painting is really close to Forest Park, okay. which is fucking huge. It's kind of like a central park, in the yeah. city, you know, but we have this humongous forest right okay. in the city, too. Okay. It's, dude, it's, I, when I go for a run, it's four minutes on there. Like, yeah. You just leave our front door and be there. Yeah. Just check it out. Okay. Might find inspiration right here, dude. If it's not too cold. Yeah. Obviously in my park. Uh, yeah, dude, <laughs> it's it's cold here. Yeah. So um, what uh, I guess how about this? What's your, what's your, favorite character you you've ever drawn? Ever drawn? Ooh. So that the people can go look it up and check it out. Um. That's really hard. They're all different in their own way. How about I mean, in, the, in the past year or two? In my Timber story, I have like four solid characters. And then there's actually nine for the whole story. But like my Mickey Mouse is called the Keeper and he's like a Bigfoot. He looks a little bit similar to your Bigfoot, but there's mm -hmm. slight differences that I know right, about. So yeah, they look like cousins almost. Mm -hmm. um, Dude, but, I saw this kids movie recently where there's like hundreds of different styles of these Sasquatch yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was pretty killer. Cool. I think it's called Smallfoot. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, yeah, it's good. But uh, I think he is So like, that dude? Yeah, well, he's just like my most uh, popular yeah. character. I think we bought a skateboard with him on it, maybe. Yeah, I think you guys have a whole series of skateboards somewhere here. Yeah. Um, but the reason why he's called the Keeper is mm -hmm. because he's the kind of like narrator of the story. Cool. And witnessing in my book or whatever I'm yeah. coming out with, it's gonna be, he's gonna be like the guy that sees everything and kind of tells it. Cool. And um, so he's like the main kind of point of the pyramid of characters. And then after that, there's a lot of other ones. Um, right. Yeah, so I don't know. Mm. <laughs> How about your favorite mural you've drawn? So Chad, Chad flies around the world, man. He's, he's painting murals and Tokyo, I do all kinds of stuff. St. Jean yeah. de Luz and wherever yeah, else. Yeah. <laughs> um, he works for Element and Yeti and all, Great yeah. Ocean and lots of other places. Yeah. Um, favorite mural? Ooh. They're all, it's like, again, it's like they're all so different yeah. and fun. And, I mean, like, this one's really different. Yeah, what, what are you painting for Great Notion? What can people expect? It's a full color mural, which I rarely do. And I haven't done one for a long time. But. I usually do just like the straight up black on a wall or something, but this is like... Are most of them outdoors that you do? Yeah, outdoors and indoors too. I mean, it's about equal. I like forget, but they're mostly all just black. Yeah. That's what I'm like kind of known for, but this is just the same, but with color behind it. So, cool. it takes a little bit longer, but it has a different effect and I kind of like that. Yeah. Um, Dude, we're psyched to have it, man. It, it yeah. looks fucking gorgeous. We're we're honored, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm excited to see it yeah. finished and uh, see what it what the full. You'll have to come. Effect. You'll have to come back up maybe for grand opening or yeah, something that'd like that. Be cool. Uh, what um? What's your favorite label you've ever done for Great Notion? I would have to say the Illuminous one. Illuminous. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. So that's what we're doing next. Yeah, I switched it up, man. So this is a it's a sour IPA. Oh, no. 
So we make it, we brew it like a sour, like a kettle sour, but we, we add hops. And then in our Luminous series, we always have some vanilla, lactose to give it like a creamy mouthfeel. This one's 03, this one's got strawberries in it, so cheers. We might have one on tap. I have to try. We we made a lemon meringue pie version of this too. I'll have to let you taste oh, this wow. one. So why the name of this one? Um, I don't know. It's, it's, there's a light bulb on top of your head when you drink it. It, okay. it wakes you up and okay. gives you ideas to think bold. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't, guys I don't know. James came up with the name, the name I and I was like, I just threw that eyeball guy. Yeah, dude. Straight Illuminati. Yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah. So, we're, all, we're all members, right? Yeah. Don't you have your card? Your Illuminati <laughs> card? No, I'm joking, man. So let's see what um. By the end of this play, I think I'll put it <laughs> on the floor. Maybe. But let's see for you know we have fans out there that are techies or that are you know athletes or whatever. But for the artists out there that might be looking for more inspiration, like when uh, when do you draw best or when do you get your best ideas? I guess. Ooh. If I'm, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Usually when I'm like not the happiest. Yeah. Like, I mean. I'm from a sunny place, but every time I'm like traveling to like somewhere where it rains all the time and I'm stuck inside. Like here? <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, I hate it, but I kind of love it because I come up with like my best ideas. You're grumpy and you're grumpster like, right now, dude. Not leaving the house forever. It's like a hermit, you know, kind of a little bit like depressing. It like fuels something. I think that are, I used to come up with a lot of like good ideas when I do like really repetitive things. like. Mm -hmm. I print posters at my house and stuff, and I'm just like, you know, printing posters like by hand. Yeah. You know, doing this for hours. But my your brain's brain. wandering off and thinking of these ideas, you know. But every time I sit down and go, I need to think of an idea, that's not working. Yeah. It's like you can't time it. So I don't know. Yeah. It's a weird, weird process. But cool, man. Yeah. I yeah. do mine when I'm running, I guess, or exercising or something like that. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna ask some questions that we've already asked you, but the people might want to know too. Is so. Here's one, like, how long does it take you to actually make a, a label for Great Notion? Like, let's say we come up with a new beer and we say, oh, we're picturing whatever, maybe it's a, a female lumberjack, you know? Yeah. How long does it take you to, to draw one of those? I mean, I could do, like, a sketch in probably, like, a half hour to an hour or something. Like, get something in pencil kind of right. thing, and then I'll send that to you. We'll give you some feedback. Yeah, right? so that also depends on the, the feedback. Right, and if it's a lot of changes or yeah, no changes. Yeah, right. completely, like, we need not even that sketch. And, but um, then a final take maybe three to six hours, depending on uh, the amount of detail in it, the color, and whatever else. And then I just have a little bit of time after it's finalized by you guys to, you know, you know get it ready, like, digitally vector it and everything like that and send it over so cool. it varies so know. maybe anywhere from like four to eight hours yeah that sound like that? sounds about right i mean sure cool yeah then after that we have james or kelsey work on the graphic design yeah, and like everything yeah and that's 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 your guys' thing like do all that mm -hmm. then our printer rose city label what's up y'all yeah. <laughs> they need about two yeah, weeks to get a good them printed. job with that printing. yeah man we love yeah, it dude yeah. we're we're psyched uh, they're doing a great job, and our, our uh, pack leader machine gets it on there every time. Yeah. Looking good. Cool. Hey, how about something big like um, for those who come in the Great Notion, right uh, right next to our kitchen here on Alberta? There's there's a big picture. Maybe we'll show it later, but it's got Sasquatch, a skeleton, uh, yeah. two guys with a beard and a bear. Something like that painting. How how long does that take? Ooh, to draw out that. So th one. this is a painting that's probably what's that like, twenty by. 15 yeah, or something so like that's, that. That's the screen print of, a, of an original drawing. Yeah, how long did the original take? The original drawing probably took around, I want to say like 100 plus hours, more than that, 150 hours, I would say. Okay, wow. That bar scene, that's, is it still over there? I think so. Yeah. Uh, like oh, yeah, yeah, that, totally. That yeah. crazy Yeah, by our bath. He's talking about the one by our bathrooms here. I think that done. took, like, from start to finish, to, like, idea. It's, like, somewhere around 400 hours. It wow. was a lot of time. And are those really old? Because we've had them hanging for like, three years. Do you think those are, like, five, ten years old? Yeah, I sold out of that one a really long time ago. Okay. So that one's not... I want to say... The one, the bar seed and that one are probably like, yeah, five years old, okay. something like that. Cool. I mean, I still have the bar scene for sale. That one sold out a long time ago. Um, just because I only made a hundred of those, I think. Yeah. So I made like 300 of the other one. But yeah, it's, uh, those both took 
a while. Do do people you know people trade art beer online? Do people trade can put that online and try to sell it for thousands well, or anything? Are you that famous yet? No, not even. Oh, I mean, they, they will hype you up. Come on, guys. It's more trade. like I have like skate <laughs> decks. People are after, and they'll be on eBay and stuff sometimes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we one of them. We had to get the full set. We had to buy one on eBay. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I'm still getting people hitting me up for certain yeah. boards that they're missing or something. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's no like. Dude, your stuff's awesome, man. It, it I mean, I could for sell it. I could sell it on my online store. That's what I do with most of my art. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, there's a few people out there that are really after things. That yeah. especially the older stuff that I've done, and they found out about me later. So they want to go back and try to find yeah, something. Your stuff's sick, dude. Yeah, thanks. Um, I make blankets even, dude. Yeah, yeah blankets, whatever. No rugs. What, do you, what do you call the thing I, I, we have hanging on the wall in our office? There's supposed to be a blanket, yeah. like a throw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do one of those a year just for fun. Cool. Um, yeah, most of my, I would say, I do a lot of screen printed posters, like mm -hmm. limited edition screen printed posters. Yeah, what's the thing you sell most? On your online store, posters. The posters. The posters, yeah. Cool. Because um, I mean, they're affordable, right? Oh yeah. I mean, I try to make them that way. I mean, they're anywhere from like thirty, even less, twenty to eighty dollars, depending on the size, the detail, whatever. And I mean, I try to keep all of my stuff cheaper. I'm not like trying to be greedy. I, like I know a lot of my like, fans and stuff, mm -hmm. or people that want to like, buy my stuff, or yeah, they're not rich or anything, right? You know, so I'm like, well. Yeah, and you can make your money. Blue off collar the, workers the and people. stuff that yeah. want to hang my stuff on their wallet. It's amazing. So yeah, um, I try to keep especially it if it's people point. like you draw. That would be yeah. awesome. Yeah, I mean there there, there is a lot yeah, of like workers, that, dude. You know? Yeah, yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. What, um, so tell us about here. I'm gonna switch it up. Um, this one's the virtual reality one. I'm try to finish up my yeah, dude. You can do whatever, man. You can bounce around. Virtual reality, super right. These are double IPAs, and okay. then the Sticky Bun, who we collaborated with, Full Pint. What's up? Oh, but you love the Yeti, dude, right? So the yeah. Yeti and the Sasquatch are fighting over the Sticky the, Bun. The, on the this chubby one. Yeti was, mm -hmm. a, was a good one. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I really like it too when we take like the, the background or whatever, and we kind of change the season or or the yeah, it makes sunset snow in the or you know like sunset. in the. The, the mochi one is like a, a red sun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the other day I was thinking we should do an autumn one, right? Have yeah. the leaves change a little bit. Yeah. Although they're evergreens, right? So they well, don't change, even but. that, you know, like I'll see in the middle of evergreen forest, it'll be like some orange. A maple or something. Yeah, like or it. something like Japanese that. Japanese maple or, or something. That might be cool in the future. Yeah. yeah definitely. Oh, you could do so many things with that. You could do like a, a really dry beer or something, but it like. Yeah. Forced right out and like kind of turned into like a dead desert or something. Cool. You know what I mean? With like yeah, a dude. skeleton, maybe like cow horn, like you know something like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. No, let's let's do them in the future. Yeah, we got to keep yeah. 2019 fresh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So um, one of the next things I was gonna ask is you know on the hat you're wearing, right? Feelings. I I think I was asking you yesterday, like you know you're coming out with these different brands or concepts or yeah. whatever fucking marketing word you want to use, yeah. right? But you have timber, right? It's the whole. Forest that is theme. what people know me the best What's for. What's the next theme you got going? The feelings, feelings thing? It's <laughs> kind of like a side deal. And for me, it was just trying to almost like escape from the timber world a bit. Yeah. Like, I don't want them to be so connected. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's like, I don't know, just creatively, I don't want it to sit there and draw bears all day and fry right, right, us, right. you know, and I have sketchbooks of all kinds of art. And, mm -hmm. But now it's starting to get a little bit of an image and stuff. I'm like, I can't, I'm under, it's just a little bit more, I don't know what the theme is or there's no characters, there's no story. It's just more like graphic. I'm so short, I, like. I can't even see. So yeah, what's the just, what is that, dude? Some flowers like, knocked yeah, over? It's like a little line. bit of like, it's a little bit of like can, heartbreak can I take vibe. It off? Can I take it off? Well, my, my show hat here might be bad. Yeah, you know, for those. It's like a hey, flower it's all good, vase yeah, yeah, tipped yeah, yeah, over yeah, yeah. and a Show wine and a too. wine glass still up. It's pretty rad. So this is kind of like a little bit of like a maybe a little bit of like a heartbreak. It's your emo yeah, brand. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> but not. Yeah, I wouldn't call it that. I would say like if timber is kind of like for beer, I think this is a little bit more wine based. I don't know what even that means. That's cool. You know, as this like a personality, not yeah. as like. Anything like that, like, like got you. It's it's romantic. Like, it's yeah, it's like that's just right? like a metaphor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a little bit no, more romantic yeah. or whatever. 
It's also simpler too. I'm not. Timber has like layers of stories, and it's too much. I almost need to escape that to breathe. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm just gonna like take these little drawings and just like put them on something. That's cool. And I just tried to make another little like kind of concepted. Yeah. Kind of project brand mm -hmm. whatever. And I mean, I've got a list of different other things right. to do too. Do you, do you just, have other ones you've tackled or is this just um, the second one? I've got a list and ideas for other ones, but Don't start time yet. is really hard for me. Yeah. I barely have time. Yeah, tell time. people what's your schedule like, man, because when it's, I hear it, it's, it's crazy, dude. It's like, non-stop. I don't... How many weeks per month on average are you traveling around the world globe? I would say I'm gone at least like nine months out of the year. But that's kind of also by choice. How many times has your wife stabbed you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, well, it's just weird. It's like kind of by choice, too. It'll be like, oh, I, I need to go to Japan. For right. I'm actually going there probably a month or something. Cool. So I, I need to be there for like to do stuff for a week, mm -hmm. different events or whatever. But then I'll be like, oh, well, since I'm already there, can you guys buy my ticket to come home two weeks after that? So then I'll just like hang out and do things right, on cool. my own or whatever, and then I'll come over cool. after that. So, but during that time I'm still working, always working. Yeah, you're always stuff. Home, yeah. Dude, yeah. So like, the next I mean, some of, of these labels might be coming whatever. from you know, whatever, yeah. in France or Japan or Brazil, or whatever. Yeah, you know? have it, Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny, but um, you went to one of my favorite places in the world. So I, I love to travel too. But Saint Jean de Luz, like that oh, yeah. that whole Basque region is. Top. I don't know, that, it I might mean, be my I favorite place. I'm in the actually going to be yeah. back there oh, so jealous. next month too. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a vast country. I'm there a lot because Elements European Office is pretty much in close to there, like the vast country. Oh, yeah, yeah cool. sort of right there. So I've been down there. I want to say like 20 times. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so jealous, man. The I mean, food, to every the, region of Spain. The fish, the, the wine. Yeah, the it's, cedar, they, they have so instead the, of cider, yeah, the cider, cedar, yeah. you know, really funky apple cider. Yeah, and it's funny, it's, it's like if you go into Spain and go like along the northern coast, mm -hmm. you get to like a region called Asturias and stuff, and oh, they do like the cider with the like, port really oh, high. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So know, I had like, that, yeah. yeah and they yeah, do that with this white wine too. Like, yeah, yeah. So high. What's the place? Most it's, of the It's right there, it's right next to St. John Louis, where, where you have Pinchos. Oh, that's, that's San town? Sebastian. Yeah, San yeah, Sebastian. Yeah, yeah that town's yeah. awesome, no, dude. dude. Yeah. I'd live there, yeah. Yeah, me too, man. <laughs> Are cool, we doing dude. another beer? Uh, yeah, dude, I'm just jumping around. This is super ripe. Okay. Cheers, dude. So this one was cool. We just took ripe. This we one's actually it. on the, wait, the version before, like the ripe. The regular camp. ripes on the mural. On the mural. Right? Super ripe is basically the same dude with a cape. cape. Yeah. yeah, he's a cape guy. And then you'll see overripe soon in a can. I don't know what we're thinking for that, a little tropical. Yeah. Maybe some hula hoops, who knows what yeah. I mean. I was thinking you put good. it back in the hole. But maybe it doesn't have to be. You put it wherever you want to do. Yeah, we got buzz. <laughs> I know. You, did you have breakfast? No. This is your breakfast. <laughs> well, you got two breakfast beers on here. Just be yeah. right. Now, we don't want to get you too drunk. The mural will be all fucked up, right? No. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's morning. I could recover. Do you pay? So, how often do you draw? Uh, inebriated, not inebriated, <laughs> with a buzz. Do you frequently draw like after a couple of drinks or smoking some, you no, know, or whatever? I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I'll do murals. And stuff. I mean, a lot of times I'm doing like live painting and stuff, and there's always drinks around, so I'm a little bit buzzed or drunk or something. But I'm not like always inebriated or whatever. Yeah. A lot, a lot of the times so I'm just cranking at it. I'm Cool. I'm actually drinking like tea or coffee to like stay up later. Did you, did you, when you were way young, did you learn now? Dude, you know, so did you used to love getting high and drawing crazy shit too? Uh, no, I was never, 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 yeah. Not like a weed guy really. Yeah, yeah. cool. I mean, dude, it's now legal all up and down yeah. the West Coast, right? So yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. That's, that's Just great. curious, yeah. But yeah, I think it's more about like, I'll brew like green tea or coffee. And yeah. Because it's more like I need to like, Put so many hours in so much of this stuff. Yeah, and I've got I'm juggling so many graphics and stuff that are due all the time, and so I'm like, I don't do like do anything else besides sit there and work on art projects and draw. Cool. Dude, like, I have it, no it other life besides at it, dude. going other places and drawing. Like I don't 
go bowling at home. Like, yeah, I just yeah. don't leave the house. <laughs> yeah. And draw every day and most of the night. And then, like, the sun comes up and goes down, yeah. and I'll just still be there. Yeah. Like, I'll just <laughs> keep going. And go, and dude, go, the man's go, got his hustle, dude. Like, that's how you get to be amazing yeah, at something, dude. It, you put it, time into it. It's, it's, it gets a little bit much, yeah. but. Is there anything you want to promote? Or I maybe one more travel question, because, dude, I love oh. traveling. So just while but we're talking about it, what, what are maybe top three favorite places you've been in the world, just to visit? Again, mm. yeah, it's, like, it's hard for me because it's all different. Yeah, but, oh, dude, it's a tough question, man. <laughs> I mean, I think um, I go there the most, but I think, like, uh, you know, between France and Spain. Yeah, France and Spain. I have a lot of friends in both of these places. And it's fun to go there a lot. It's almost like I have little lives in different parts of the world yeah. and stuff. So I really do enjoy uh, countryside. Like, it, let's say France, for example, is it Paris or is it countryside or like Toulouse? Mm. Or where? It's both. I mean, I like Paris. I mean, it's beautiful city. I've spent a lot of time yeah. there. I'm actually. That's my favorite city too. in the whole world. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing. I know it's super cliche. And, Whatever, but you know, I've spent a lot of time. Food's there. amazing. The yeah. people truly are amazing. I don't believe yeah. any of those fake rumors, dude. Yeah, it's romantic, dude. It's, the art's amazing. The cheese, like, yeah. dude. It's easy to get around. Dude. Like, no, it's fucking great. Love Paris, then, dude. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm I've been in every region of Spain multiple times, but I've also been all over. I've been to, I want to say like, have you been to every continent too? No, well, I haven't been to Africa yet. I haven't. I've, I've pretty much like nerded out on Europe. I've been to like yeah. 38 European countries or something cool. crazy. Mm -hmm. And then I've been to like, you know, I've only been to Brazil and South America, which I would like to go to more. Mm -hmm. I've only pretty much been to like Japan and Asia. And I've been to like Asian parts of like Russia, and like yeah. Turkey and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I haven't been to like China or anything. Um, yeah. I've never yeah. been to South America or Africa yeah. or Australia. Yeah, but I've I mean been Europe though, because I always like overlap like kind of working with travel. Mm -hmm. So no one in no. you know like fun Africa and stuff is you know needing my artwork yet anyway. So yeah. call them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but call uh, this man, dude. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so Europe is always a constant. I go there like three times a year at least. Yeah. Cool. And I just work, hang out, visit people, and. Uh, that's, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, we got to wrap up, dude. Thank you for coming. Let's, you got to try virtual reality if you haven't yet. But yeah. this one was with Modern Times, our friends, and it's got Sauvignon Blanc grapes in it, pear juice, some Galaxy. People love this yeah, label, too. It was cool. fucking awesome. We did yeah. a glass of it, too. Yeah, dude. Thanks, thanks for coming on, man. Yeah. Anything else you want to say to the people? Buy your graphic novel? <laughs> uh, yeah. Where can they follow you? Where can they find out more about you? Um, not an Instagram like everybody. Uh, Timber PS. Timber PS. Well, you gotta work on your marketing game, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm awful at this stuff. I wish it, I wish Everyone it calls happen. us hype, you know, we're all hype, whatever. Let's hype him up, dude. Chad Eames, the man. Timber um, PS. I got a website if you wanna buy some of these prints that are still available. TimberPS.com. Yeah, don't just download them, print them out, and hang them up in your bathroom. Yeah. And then draw a hop in the middle. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That is how we got to know him. Though. I do do that. <laughs> but then call me later. Then call him and apologize. And, uh, and ask to buy shit yeah, off Yeah, then do yeah. all the later. <laughs> nah, it's cool. Um, Thanks. We're done. We're done. All right.